I don't know if you can hear me, but it's raining and I'm on my porch trying to film. But it just started raining. And I can't go back in and take my camera and my computer and all the stuff that I just took out. Okay, I think it's done. Well, it's changing. Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. I'm here on my porch trying to film a little bit with light, uh, natural lights, but suddenly it stopped raining. The sun disappeared. But I'm still going to film because I do feel like creating a makeup look with this beautiful palette. I already tried it once. I created a makeup look with this a couple of weeks ago when I just got it, and I love this palette. I was always scared of blue colors, but I really, really want to create more makeup looks. I'm going to create a makeup look with this today and um, I'm definitely going to use it more on my channel but if you're interested to see what I'm going to create then please keep on watching. I'm going to go in with a blending brush. This is a NYX brush uh, that I got from my friend Valerie and I'm going to go in with uh, wealthy this shade here all over my eyelid I already set my eyeshadow base but I want to use this shade too can't really see it on my eyelid but I want eyeshadows to blend beautifully on top then I want to go in with blue blood this shade here in my crease with the same brush this blue is very blending very very nice and i want to create another time a natural makeup look with this palette because it does have some beautiful shades in here um, for a very everyday makeup look, natural makeup look, but this is for me also everyday makeup look. My co-workers know that I always create these colorful makeup looks, even if I'm a teacher. Makeup is my passion and it makes me feel good and uh, I love being myself. Then I'm going to take another brush. I'm going to take um, this brush Ofra number 21 and go in with I'm Cold, this shade here. Just try to blend so it doesn't have any sharp lines. Then I want to go in with this brush. This is from Sosu and Kayla Esco 2 and I think Undertaker, this darkest shade in this palette. and then blend it in my crease. Dark up the edge here and then when I feel like there is not so much I should have left on the, this palette is heavy, um, left on the brush, I'm going to bring it into the crease just to dark it up a little bit. You know why the shades are blending very, very, very nice. Then I'm going to go in with the concealer and cut the crease. I'm going to use this number Beach Cosmetics brush number nine. I love this brush for cutting the crease. It's very nice for that purpose. This brush from Linda Halbert 305, it's the best brush to pack on shimmery shades on the eyelid. And I'm going to take this Deceased here. This one is more like satin finish. And place it here. I'm 
these are so pigmented I'm darking up this edge a little bit more it feels like the shade blended away a little bit let's take back this brush again and blend the edge there's a little bit of fallout from uh, this darkest blue I'm going to go and take this beautiful ice tray shade here So then I'm going to take this I'm uh, I'm cold and blend it on the under my lower lash line. I need another brush. This one isn't a good one. Some fallout. So I'm going to take this kind of eyebrow brush and go into Blue Monday, this beautiful purpley blue color, kind of looks very purple and apply it very close to my eyelash, but when you apply it on the eye it looks actually more blue. I'm going to blend. So I'm going to clean this brush and I want to go in this first very shimmery nice bright color in this palette looks really like a diamond here this one and highlight Whoa. so I'm going to apply some mascara and I'll be right back so guys this is the final look i really think it turned out beautiful i on my lips i do have the bite lipstick that i got from that i got from my friend valerie this is shade pepper lip pen number 16. Oh, i really really want to try more of bite lipstick especially the nude color that it's called especially honeycomb color honeycomb i can't get that in sweden at all so i'm kind of sad but maybe in the future, Sweden will also start selling bite cosmetics or lipsticks. Okay, guys, uh, I really, really like this makeup look. I'm definitely going to play more with this palette. I think with the lashes and uh, eyeliner, it looks stunning. I'm not going to put any eyelashes now. I'm going to stay home all day. And the sun is messing with me. But actually, I really, really like this palette. Even if you don't use blue shades. It, this is a be beautiful palette to just collect. I don't have anything like this and I'm very glad that I got it. I haven't tried Jeffree Star's Cosmetics eyeshadows before I borrowed the Sisters Red palette and I love that one. So I also got it for myself. I am very, very happy and definitely buy, I bought this one. And I think it's a very nice, maybe it's not best travel friendly because it's kind of bulky and heavy but it's a very nice nice palette and I really really like it uh, but yeah that was everything guys I'm definitely going to play more with this and create more looks on my channel especially with these uh, pinkish nude shades that I haven't used today this one is stunning this shade is talking to me this is a stunning rose gold shade I don't know if you can see it I'm... it's a beautiful beautiful shade um, but definitely going to play more with those and the greens there are a lot of green shades here and I think they're beautiful yeah guys I like this palette so subscribe to my channel if you already haven't subscribed support me that means a lot to me uh, and thank you everyone for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and I see you in my next video I love you all bye